Okay, I am confused. So we can't live without a stomach, except we can? It's like love. More like a stomachache. <laughs> Guys, focus. Last episode, our entire body almost died after the stomach left. And now the doctor says it's useless? Nope, he said we can technically live without a stomach. Two different things. Yeah, yeah, point taken. I still want to hear the explanation. Oh, someone's becoming interested in the world of medicine. <laughs> Shut up, heart. Hello, organs. Dude, the video started like 20 seconds ago. You want to be famous on the web and stuff? You shouldn't leave your audience hanging and just answer the video's title. Good point. Okay, short answer is... Yes, we can live without a stomach. Many people do, actually. People that have certain types of diseases or cancers in the stomach have had big chunks of their stomach removed. I've seen this in a book. That's called a gastrectomy, right? You're stealing my thunder brain. Sorry. <clears throat> when people get a gastrectomy, the doctors may suggest changes on their diet. In many cases, the recommendation is to eat smaller, more frequent meals. But, as it's always the case in medicine, it, it depends, depends case, case to case. Hey, doctor, what about vitamin B12? The stomach allows the intestines to absorb it. Without it, we may get megaloblastic anemia. Megalo what now? Basically a type of anemia in which the body can't produce enough healthy red blood cells. Again, brain, you're stealing my thunder here. Okay, so depending on the case, a doctor may counter the vitamin B12 deficiency with some supplements to maintain your nutrition levels to where they should be. Yep, medicine is a wonderful thing! Huh, well, even if we can live without a stomach, I'm still glad to have you around, dude. Oh, I love you too, liver. Uh -huh. you're melting me! What did you- oh, oh, uh, I see what you did there. Subscribe!